Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use Kilonotes. By the way, the app is available on iOS and Android and you can use it on your tablet or your phone. So this is what the app looks like when you open it. For me, I have a couple of folders. So I want to show you how to create a folder because usually you just have notebooks like this. And then to create a folder, you drag notebooks into each other and then it automatically creates a folder. Here you can um, add the folder name by writing with your pen or using the keyboard. And there you go. On the upper right corner of the app, you'll find three icons. So the first one is for the Killnote store where you can download some templates. And then the next one is for you to go to your downloads folder and import some PDF files like this. Uh, yeah, so I just downloaded a PDF file and put it together into one folder. And then the last icon is for the settings, so you can adjust um, different settings according to what you want. And this is also where you back up your data so be sure to do this often so your files are safe and uh, in case you delete your file by accident you can go to the recently deleted folder and recover them but once you delete the files from this folder it's gone forever so make sure you're extra careful now I'm going to show you how to create a new notebook just tap on create and then on the upper left, you'll see an icon where you can toggle between landscape and portrait mode. For me, I prefer portrait mode for this notebook. And there are already different kinds of covers inside, uh, like these character ones. But you can also add your own cover if you want to really customize it and make it your own. Uh, but for me, I like the variety of options already available in the app um, and for now I'm gonna choose this really cute food one and then next I'm going to choose the paper type so there are different colors available uh, and then inside the paper you can also choose the texture like dot paper squared paper line paper or you can also use like different templates like monthly plan weekly plan to do lists so they already have it for you and if you're not satisfied with that there are also like other templates available inside the app the ones with a crown you can use with a subscription but the ones without the crown are totally free so click create and then you can rename your notebook by clicking on the name and then using your pen to write it out or your keyboard to type it up. So there you go. Here's my new notebook. Next, we'll go over the different tools available on Keynotes. First is this button, which will show you all the pages inside your notebook. You can add a page, clear a page, copy a page, or delete a page. So just click on the option to, to do what you want. So here I'm adding a page, and then you can scroll up or down to view all of them. And the next is this label box. Later on, I'll show you in more detail how to use this, but it's pretty useful. Next is the pen tool. So you can adjust the thickness. And there are also different pen options. Um, next is the highlighter tool. So you can choose different colors. And then Lastly, this is the eraser tool. Pretty straightforward. And then next is this lasso tool. Uh, you can use it to select things on the page. Next is the image tool. You can use it to add images from your gallery. And then next is the text box. You can basically add a text box on the page and then um, type out 
whatever you want so here I'm choosing the color you can adjust uh, and choose from the spectrum and once you find a color you like you can just click the plus button to add it or you can just select from the different options of it so here I'm reading the text box and then I'm using the pen to, to widen it and then you can just type write normally and it will automatically convert to text and you can also select the font style and the font size moving on is this new tool which is a graffiti brush so just select the pattern and then when you drag your pen on the notebook the pattern will come out like a washi tape so it's really useful when you're drawing borders or you want to create like stickers for your journals so that's what I mainly use it for and then next is um, this label tool so basically you can use it to select a part of the page and then put it under a label so you can check the labels in a label box and you can add different categories like school, work, or put them under different colors. So to delete one, you just slide the label to the left and click delete. You can add as many labels as you want and easily find them under the different categories. Lastly, we have this pointer tool. You can use it to scroll through the page, zoom in and zoom out and double tap to view the full screen mode what I like about Kill Notes is that there are already stickers available inside the app you just need to click on the sticker to use it and there are also different categories and different sticker sets so just go to a sticker set you like and click download to be able to use them then you will also find templates under this icon and this is also where you can replace a page, add a page before or after your current page and once you're done you can click this to export your journal you can select um, the pages that you want to export to basic features on Kill Notes. Let me go more in depth on how I use it for studying. Recently, I've been reading a lot of research papers and I find it more useful and more efficient to uh, open the paper on Kill Notes and mark it digitally rather than print it out and mark it with a pen because here, for example, when I when I'm using Kill Notes, I can adjust the thickness of the pen. I can just delete whenever I make any mistakes. And I can even use the highlighter tool directly. So just draw a line and hold the pen a little longer to make it straight. Or I can be a total rebel and create a weekly line as a highlight. You can do that too. And now I'll show you how to use this label function. So this is really useful when I'm doing the re reading research papers because I can highlight the parts I want to remember later on and store them here in this label box. So for example, I want to uh, reference this section later on so I just highlight it using the label tool and it will automatically go under the label box and you can even drag some of the things you've um, saved before onto the page and use it like to make connections or just to um, like a reminder or something like that and you can even add like photos from your album directly on the page if 
that helps um, with the research. And uh, lastly, if you found something from a previous research paper, you can also drag it um, onto this page so you can put references from multiple papers in, in this one so it's really helpful for cross-referencing so that's it for this video if you want me to do a tutorial on something else just let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to film it as quickly as possible so that's it for now bye